My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be hauling dirt with a dump trailer, moving it from one place to another, and uh, that's about it. So I hope you enjoy. We'll do some music, some time lapses, and uh, we'll kind of talk through the processes we're going and what we're doing and why and what we're using and how we're doing it. So uh, let's get to it. Start out, remove a tree. I don't have the full footage of this tree removal. My camera actually blew off the chicken coop, uh, causing it to break, and I didn't catch capture that footage. But I do have a, another video maybe coming where we'll include that footage. Uh, so here we're we're covering up uh, that tree hole, taking out the roots, and then smoothing that over. Drop that attachment, hook up to our new attachment. Uh, this is a bucket. We've got the automatic uh, quick attach on this Bobcat skid steer, which is super nice. Uh, this is a Bobcat T650 track skid steer that we're using. Uh, this machine weighs about 10,000 pounds, maybe a little bit under. And here we've got a PGA trailer. This is a PGA gooseneck dump trailer, uh, 14,000 pound uh, gooseneck rated uh, tandem axle, obviously. This is their low pro, so it has a lower profile deck. Um, the rails for the dump body sit inside the rails for the frame on the trailer, giving it a little bit lower uh, load height. And then here we've got a pile of clean uh, dirt, uh, topsoil, fill dirt, and we'll be using to uh, move from down here in the lower area, uh, down in the water bottoms area, uh, down by the river. Move it up top, uh, make a level area for uh, a future building. Gooseneck trailers uh, are very versatile. Uh, it gives you some extra weight capacity, pushes some of that weight forward, and they tow better. Uh, they, they just bring that off your bumper and it'll help you out with your tongue weights. The truck we're using here is a 1500. This is a 2010 uh, Chevy 1500. It does have the upgraded motor, uh, the 6.2 liter, uh, so it's a larger engine and it does have some upgrades. It's got towing mirrors, it's got airbags, uh, and obviously the gooseneck uh, trailer, the turnover ball, BMW turnover ball, uh, in order to hook up the gooseneck to it. A uh, really good truck, especially uh, uh, around locally, not getting on the freeway, not, not uh, using it for DOT purposes, but uh, for uh, local use, works great. We got our first load dumped. Here you can see how the attachment system works. This is PGA Trailers. Uh, they call it a 2A gate, I believe. And it has the, the swinging tailgate option. Uh, so you've got two, two opening tailgates, or you've got uh, a dump gate that pops out like a semi truck or a dump truck. As you can see throughout the video, we've got a pack of dogs that are running around, um, chasing the vehicles up and down the hill, and, and just playing and having a good old time. This bucket will hold about a yard of material, and because this like, dirt was really heavy and wet, uh, we were only putting about four scoops in. Um, weight capacity on that, uh, you know, definitely underrated for this trailer. Uh, this trailer is a 14,000 pound trailer, like I said. Uh, the trailer, empty, dry, probably weighs about 4,000 pounds, leaving us about 10,000 pounds capacity, which again works great for that skid steer haul and that skid steer around. It uh, has the right capacity for that. But as far as the weight we're hauling, we're probably only hauling five, 6,000 pounds, so we do have room for some extra weight. But again, once you get materials wet and heavy, it's hard to tell exactly what the weight is unless you go to a scale. And here we're dumping that second load. Uh, this is a uh, hydraulic dump trailer, so obviously we've got the control switch there that goes to the hydraulic pump. Box. Works pretty well. Uh, you do have to keep that battery uh, topped off and charged. The vehicle generally doesn't have enough uh, charge to keep it topped off uh, under heavy use, especially like today where we're, we're running back and forth multiple loads. You, you'd want to charge it the night before, and that's pretty typical with dump trailers. Some people will hook up a solar panel on top, give it a little bit extra charge uh, when not in use, and in between uses, and just keep that battery topped off. Doing a little bit of dirt work here, leveling, grading, some of those areas back behind uh, that dirt pile. 
that's uh, not leveled out uh, while we're out here working on this area of the field. Here we have the infamous ghost lady in the field. No, I don't know if any of you have spotted that one. Leave a comment down below if you did. Let me jump trailer brand new. A lot of times this powder coat is pretty sticky, dirt holes in it. As you can see here, it itself cleans out pretty well. Once you get it under pretty good use, you put some scratches in it, some dings and dents, and kind of rub down that powder coat layer. You tend to have a little bit uh, more smoothness, and when you dump, it tends to come out a little better, a little smoother. Especially when we're using this uh, heavy, wet uh, type material, uh, it tends to stick more, so that the more looseness it's got in there, the more slickness, the better it is for, for not sticking. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, just kind of a quick time lapse type video. I don't do a lot of these. This is uh, mainly my my how-to DIY channel, but I do throw in some landscape type projects there in between. I know uh, not everyone has the tools or capabilities of what we're showing here, but I think it's fun to share these projects and, and share the thought process behind them and how we do them and uh, how we accomplish those tasks. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Uh, if you would, please give us a big thumbs up, like the video, and Please subscribe, leave any questions or comments down below, and thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. We'll see you on the next one. We'll see how the green shirt works on the green screen. Leave the glasses for no glare. Okay.